Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be a guide and a look at the Southern German Farm Buildings Pack by our one and only Omatana. Omatana always does really good work and this is no exception. This is a massive, absolutely massive building pack. So we'll take a little bit to get through everything. And one of the coolest things is the amount of uh, houses that it has in it um, that are all walking and are perfect for role playing, that sort of thing. We're going to cover the houses at the very end. So if you're here for the houses, skip ahead to that. We're going to start off, start off with some of the uh, sheds and other stuff like that. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll walk through these. We'll go fairly quickly. Um, I'm not going to spend a ton of time just so we can try to be good about it. Now, a lot there's customization for colors on a lot of these. Like for these ones, you can do different colored beams, which this, I don't know what this does right here. Move all up or down. That's super cool. So I guess I put the shit on backwards. That's my fault. And I think I think I did rotate it. Actually, so maybe that was my fault. Uh, but yes, just be aware of that. Um, there are lights. I don't know how to turn the lights on. The lights actually might come on at night, but, uh, regardless of that, that's cool that you can make this either a drive through or not. So you have that option, which is just really cool. <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, so you got that one there. It's got two bays. Same thing here. One bay, except just one bay on this one. And you can move that wall up and down. Then we got kind of a shorter two bay version here. And again, this wall comes up or down there. And then we have ourselves a a shorter, as in terms of height, um, and just one bay here, again, with also that wall that comes up or down. Um, we do have basically the same things, except in a different kind of color with a darker wood. So we have these guys over here, and I actually put the walls on the correct side. So I believe if I come over here, yep, there we go. I can close that up. We have the single bay. I can close that one up. And then we have the two bay short. And then at the very end here, we have the one bay short. And again, you can put the walls up on these guys here if you'd like to, which is really sweet. So yeah, now that I actually did those ones correctly, they look nice little sheds there. So very cool. And again, you can customize, I believe that's the beams on these as well. Um, you can change the color of those to a lot of different colors, which is pretty cool. So we got all those sheds. Um, down here at the end, we have another kind of just carport area, very minimalistic. Um, you also, what is it? Oh my gosh, you can put a wall in the back of this one too. <laughs> that's awesome. Um, I haven't looked at these before. That Can you close these? I was just curious about that. But you know, I haven't looked at these before this. That was pretty cool. We can do that. Uh, then we have some more kind of uh, sheds that you can kind of drive in that are more kind of your, your stereotypical sheds here. These are drive through sheds. So they have entrances at both ends. Three doors here. Easy peasy. Nothing too crazy there. This one here, just two doors. Also drive through, which is really nice. Um, and then we already took a look at these. Let's work our way around the outside. I'll show you guys the costs of these here in a second as well. Um, over here, we have this similar to the one on the far end over there. This is just a very minimalistic outdoor shelter. But again, you can put the wall up if you'd like to, which is just super cool. And then we have those same sheds, just in a different style, more darker kind of color here. Um, and then we have a two door version as well. And again, just simple drive through sheds. And then we have these two little guys, which you can open the doors up. Don't try to stand on top of the doors like I did. And then go in, just have a nice little area in here. Yeah, so if you just needed a small little shed, and then we have a different style, but the same, well, same style shed, different color pattern. There we go. Words are hard. And I believe, yeah, well, I believe we're on to silos now. So take a look at these sheds. If we hop into the build menu here, um, I'm going to turn that help menu off for a second. So I'm um, going through these guys. Yeah, I definitely place these guys backwards. That's 100% my fault. So if we go down through here, I place them in order to make this a little easier. We have this guy right here, the two bay version. That's $8,000 to buy, which is not bad. Uh, then we have the narrow version, which is 5,000. Then we have the kind of shorter version from height wise, which is 5,000 and then 4,000 for the single. And then we have the simplistic guy here at the end, which is $1,000. These two sheds, we're working at 10,000 and 8,000. So still very reasonably priced. Then these ones are the same prices here. We have 8,000 for that one, uh, 5,000 for that one, then 5,000 for the short, and then 4,000 for the short single. And then over here, this guy right here, uh, again, $1,000. And then these guys, 10,000 and 8,000 for these guys, respectively, 10,000 here, 8,000 there. And the little bitty sheds are only $500. So if you need just a little shed on your farm, those would be absolutely perfect, which is super cool. Um, now, moving on to these silos, these guys here, these first couple, these work just as, uh, oh, and I have, do I have it turned off? I do. Um, interactive zone markers. There we go. That'll be super helpful for us as we're going forward. Uh, so you can dump things in here. Storage is empty there. Where do we put things? Oh, was it off the side? See, I covered these guys up. That was my fault. But yes, you can put stuff right here. So if I wanted to, I can put just a pallet of seeds. Sure, that'll work. And now it's inside this shed. Oh, is it upstairs? 
Because usually you can't go in the areas, and I just realized that. I might not. Can I go upstairs here? There it is. Oh, and it does let you go in here. This is... Oh, you do fall off the top, so just be aware of that. Which I'm guessing that's just the way it had to be, because normally you can't go into the areas where that stuff is stored. So this is super cool, because you kind of have the shed on the bottom. Again, I haven't looked at all these. Omatana does have a video out on her channel, her English channel, about this mod. Uh, which, if I remember correctly, I'll, I'll put a card up on the screen um, right now for you guys, so you guys can check that out. But, uh, yeah, Omatana does really fantastic work on these sheds and everything like that. So, yes, we have this set up, and then we can obviously spawn that guy out. It'll spawn right there for us to be able to access, but we still have a shed down below, which is super cool. So, I like that. Um, we have the same thing over here, just in a different style. And then this guy right next to it is the same concept. You have the entry point, looks like, right here. And then the stuff is going to get stored, I believe. Don't worry about this. This isn't the shed's fault. This is this map that I'm on's fault. Um, if I put seeds there, yep, they're inside. Now, where they get stored looks like probably upstairs as well. I just don't think you can get access to the upstairs on this one. Yeah, I don't think there's stairs to get up there, which is fine. But you have, like, a big kind of loft storage up there. So things are getting stored up there. And then if you want them out, again... You can get them out just that easy, and they're out here for you to use, and you have a shed down below. So that's pretty cool. I really like that. Um, and then, again, as we go, we have another one right here, I believe. Or no, this is, sorry, this is a regular silo here. So regular silo. You can just drive in and out. You have that entrance over there. In and out to put your regular grain crops in. We'll take a look at the capacity of that in a second. Um, and then we have two uh, just kind of wooden silo woodens here. Uh, just wooden silos that are out and about, not in a shed. And then we have a different style of that guy and that guy. So we have the angled one here as pallet storage, this one right here. And then we have also another style of the regular main shed. So taking a look at these in the store, we have these guys over here. Um, these are under silos. These ones right here. Oh, okay, let's go back a little bit. There we go. $30,000, these guys nailed 700 pallets and bales. Um, and again, this other one here is also 30 grand. Then the smaller version, this guy right here, will hold 500 bales and pallets, and that one's only 10 grand. And then again, same thing with this one over here. Um, then we have the actual main silo, which is 30 grand, holds 10 million liters. And I believe these are multi-fruit as well, if I'm not mistaken. And then we have the other silos here, which are $20,000 and hold 10 million liters. If we scoot over, we have again, $30,000, same price, just for different style. And then we have the darker style wood silo there for 20 grand, which is super cool. Uh, if you go under silo, is this, no, it's under containers, isn't it? Yes. Um, just to mention these guys, we'll take a look at them here in a second, but these two guys out here are just buying points for various farm products, so they're 5000 to buy. You have two different styles there, which you can place um, under farm buying stations right there. Um, and then over here, as we keep going, we have some productions, actually. So on the left-hand side and the right-hand side here, we have two different styles of a fermenting silo. We can make grass silage, hay silage, or chaff silage, which is really cool. Um, they'll do 120,000 liters each of those a month. And again, same thing over here. It's just a different style. Um, and then we have two little small bakeries, which are super cool. So these guys are here are going to make um, wheat flour. It will also work as a cream mill, which is super cool. Uh, wheat flour, you can see there's a byproduct of pig food. So you get a little bit of pig food out of these, which is super cool. Not the oats, I guess, or the sorghum. But the corn, you can make corn flour as well. Um, they can also make bread and cake, which is super cool. So I like that. Um, and I believe you can go inside these guys. Yeah. This pack is very well detailed. Omotan has done an incredible job on it. Um, I think... Close the gate, okay. Is there anything else in here? Prepare dough, that's right. There's an animation for, I believe, this guy. Yeah, this guy closed. This guy closed? Is there an animation for this? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so if I close that, starts doing its thing and prepares dough. Very cool. Little animation there. This one's the same thing inside. Go up over here and hit prepare dough. I don't think there's any other. Oh, cake. Hey, turn the oven on. Oh, prepare dough. That, that's that. Okay. Perfect. This is just such a cool, uh, such a cool setup. Such a cool little, this little production buildings there. Uh, okay. Uh, we've taken a look at these guys. Those guys are from the other side. Uh, we do have these two sheds over here, which have solar panels on them. So they're similar to the first sheds, sheds we saw. Um, I believe they still have the, uh, yeah, they still have the ability to put the wall in the back, but they just make a little bit of money on the side. Um, going further down here, we have a couple of little decorative guys here. These are just going to be found under decoration. I don't think... Oh, you can go inside them. Nifty. So little garden sheds, basically. Just pretty cool. Um, and to show you where all these guys are, um, 
Okay, we're taking a look at all this stuff. Farmhouses, there's a lot. We'll take a look at those in a second. Under factories, uh, if we scroll down here, we have ourselves the German fermenting silo here. We have the one that's light, the one that's dark. And then we have the two bakeries, which are $10,000 each to buy. Um, and then if we go under decoration, under others, we have the little $100 sheds here, which is super cheap for those little guys, which is awesome. Um, and then these guys here, if we go under production, or is it under... Yes, under generators, 50000 for these. They make $21,600 a month. So, yeah, they'll, you're going to make your money back pretty quick. Uh, but the, very cool. A lot of stuff here. I'm going to actually clear all this stuff out of the way, and I'm going to bring you guys back in to take a look at what I think is probably the biggest part of this pack, which is the farmhouses. So I'll see you guys here in just a second. All right, we're back in time for the houses. So I have them organized a very specific way. So starting from left to right, over here, these houses are $50,000 to buy. Those four in that row. These ones in this row, there's four through this row, are 35000 to buy. The two that are in this row are $25,000 to buy, and the two in this one are 20000 These four houses here are the quote-unquote slot-saving houses, so they don't have as much detail inside the houses, but you can still go inside them and check them out. And then the other ones are a much more detailed houses over here. So we have four single story and then four two stories. So let's work our way up, starting with the uh, slot saving ones at 20,000 down here at the bottom. Um, we do have your wardrobe trigger right there. And I believe we can. I feel like I'm walking through. Oh, there we go. Walk there. There. So the shed, there's no collision on the shed, it looks like. Or the, uh, or not the shed, the, uh, the porch. But yeah, you come in here, you can see there's still some decoration in here. You have a sleep trigger in there, no problem. Bedroom here. You have a kind of a kitchen and dining area there. This opens up, you've got a bathroom, and then you have a back door to go out as well. So, yeah, very cool. And that would be perfect even if you're just trying to save a little bit of slot count and wanted to walk in house. These are perfect. So on the other side of this one, I believe the layout is identical. Um, oh, a little different, actually. Sorry, not identical. Because that one's got a living room there, and the kitchen's here, and the dining room's there. That's kind of interesting. Uh, bedroom there. And then we have a sleep trigger in there, which is pretty cool. And then we can, of course, head outside right there. Uh, nifty. Very cool. I like that. And we have wardrobe right there, so pretty cool. Uh, now, these guys right here, let's go into these guys. These are also the slot-saving houses. I mean, here we can open all the doors. You got a bathroom there, and then a living area for this one here, and that goes around to this side. Can you close that door? That door stays open. Um, that door also stays open. Then we have a kitchen dining area here. Then we can, of course, go out the back door. I believe this is the back porch. Just could, yeah, this would be the back with how that's set up, probably. Um, but I like you have a balcony up there. Uh, a wardrobe trigger right there. We go around here. Up here, you can go out onto the balcony, which is really cool. I like that. We have a sleep trigger right here, which is great. Go around the back side here into this room. We have another bathroom, our bedroom, and another bedroom right there, which is great. Um, and then if we just jump off the... Nope, you can't jump off. Never mind. I'll say we jump off the balcony here. You cannot. Oh, can you go off this door? Oh, there's a little front balcony, too. That's so nifty. All right, let's get out of this house. Go to the next one. And out this way, move over. This one, again, is going to be a similar layout, just different things in different places. Bathroom on the left, living area on the right, goes around to there, and then kitchen area. Actually, that was the same as the other one, wasn't it? And there also, of course, is the back door. You can come out this way, and you have your wardrobe trigger there. We go upstairs. We can go back onto this little, little tiny porch here. And then we have a sleep trigger right there. Bedroom. Bedroom, and then another bathroom right here. And then we can go outside as well. We wanted to go on this little tiny porch here, which still can't get out that way. Anyhow, I don't know why I'm driving to jump off the balconies, probably to save my time from going back down around. Uh, but there we go, those are the slot saving ones. So those are pretty cool just as is. But now if we move on to these guys, these are the non slot saving ones that have more detail. Um, and you'll notice that as we go through. So again, you can come inside here. There's much more detail you can already see. Bathroom and everything like that's all set up there. On the kitchen, you can start to see they have more like food and stuff, different items out and about. Bag, there's some flowers there. Uh, nice living room, has a lot more details. Looks great in here. I like that. Some pastries are out. For guests, sleep trigger right over here. 
And this is just a one-story easy house to go through. And then we have the wardrobe trigger out here on the back, which is great. Right here, we go in from the back of this one. Wardrobe trigger there. We can go inside. A lot of really good detail in this one. Sleep trigger right there. Go in here, the kitchen, and this goes to the living room, which is great. I like this layout here. Got nice donuts right there. It looks tasty. Some books on the shelves, everything like that. And then we have, of course, our bathroom right there, which is great. So we can head back out. And then we can move on to the next house right here with just one. Oh, interesting little setup there I like that. A little bit different. Comes in a nice little entryway here. Bathroom immediately there on the left. The right, we have the kitchen area. Nice little purple cupboards I like that. And then a living area here with nice couches and everything like that. Bedroom here looks like a kid's bedroom here. That's pretty cool. That's set up. Very well detailed. And then over here, we have a sleep trigger again. Can't open those. I was curious. Uh, but you yeah, have... Just incredible detail on this. And then out back, you have this little patio area. And you have your wardrobe trigger there. Wardrobe trigger on the back of this one. Another patio. Kind of set up with a little canopy. Got some bread and stuff in the kitchen. Over here, we got, uh, looks like a kid's room with uh, some, you know, study tables or desks and whatnot there. We have the main bedroom over here. Go down through this way. We got the bathroom there on the right. And then we have a nice little living area here, the TV and another desk and all sorts of stuff set up on there. Nice. I like it. Fantastic. Head back out this way. And those are the one-story detailed houses. Now to wrap up the coup de grace of this whole pack, we have the two-story uh, detailed houses here. So a lot of stuff going on here. Backs them all look great. Yeah, I mean, the, you just the exteriors look fantastic on all these houses. So uh, if we open the door... Left-hand side, we have a bathroom coming in here. Right-hand side, we have a kitchen area. A little kind of a study, a little office area. And over here, we have a lounge area. Again, really good detail. You again, you'll see some similarities between the different houses, but um, nice little porch there. Kids' room. This kids' room looks fantastic. Um, my niece would love this room. That looks fantastic. Um, in here, another bedroom. Got a sleep trigger there for us. Another bedroom here. And then a bathroom. Yep, fair enough. And then the back porch right here. Big old nice deck there. I'd love to have that on my house. I do not, but that would be nice. And we can go out the back. And is that the front? That was the front. I went out the front. I need to go out the back to show you that this trigger works right there. Go over to the next people's house here. They have, again, a wardrobe trigger right there. And again, the nice thing about these two is honestly you could use either side as the front or the back. Like they both would work for, fine for that. Um, here, kitchen area. Ooh, I like this. Living room is my favorite. I think so far. I like it. Just kind of nifty. Um, great. And then bathroom here. You go out this way. It's the main door. Allegedly. Go upstairs. You have a very small balcony there. You have a uh, uh, sleep trigger there for you. This is a nice little study here. A lot of books and stuff in there like that. Uh, kids' room with bunk beds. That's great. Fantastic. And then we have ourselves a bathroom there. And then a nice little back porch. Sit out here have a cup of coffee. That would be nice. I like that. Okay. And then going out and about here. Round over the next one. Got two more left. Nice area through here. Going to here. I don't think you can turn the lights on in here. I think they come on at night. That's what I'm guessing. Bathroom there. Living area here. Nice living area. Some pastries are out. Nice desk there at the corner. Got the kitchen across the way here. And then back out this way, you got the back porch. We have a sleep trigger. Or not a sleep trigger, excuse me. A, a wardrobe trigger. We can go up here, up the stairs. On the left, we have a main sleep trigger, which is great. Kids room. Another bedroom. And then the bathroom, which is great. Head back out this way. We have one more residence right here. I like the entrance to this one. Nice little mud room there. Bathroom there. Nice big old living room here. Over here, I'm assuming, yep, kitchen. Perfect. If we go up the stairs, we have a beautiful balcony back up here. Some nice chairs, a little swing up here. That's cool. Oh, nice little area rug there. Kids' room, it looks like. Another kids' room, it looks like. Bathroom there. Are we going here? 
There's the main bedroom there with the sleep trigger, but pretty cool. Uh, a lot of really good detail on it. Omatana does good work on everything that she does and wardrobe trigger right there, but she definitely is definitely done just amazing work with this pack just with everyone else that she's worked on and done. So hopefully this video was helpful for you guys and you guys enjoyed taking a look at this with me, um, but Omatana does great work. So make sure you guys check her channel out. Um, it's Gamer Granny Tana on YouTube. So make sure you guys check that out. Uh, but anyhow, if you guys enjoyed, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.